Today we're gonna be making a delicious savory pastry. No yeast, no resting, no chilling. It's a quick and easy recipe. It is called poğaça. It's a traditional Turkish pastry that you can find many versions all over the country. It's perfect for a savory breakfast and indispensable for tea parties in Turkey. I have two egg whites and one yolk here. I kept one of the egg yolks aside to brush it on top at the end. Before I add the other ingredients, I'm just gonna whisk the eggs roughly to make it easier to combine everything. If you're going to make it with a stand mixer, you can put all the ingredients in at once. Then I add three tablespoons of yogurt, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, or you can use white vinegar instead, 100 ml of sunflower oil, you can use vegetable oil if you like, give it a mix, 125 grams of soft butter, 3 cups of all-purpose flour, and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Mix it by kneading until you have a soft and shapeable dough. You can make this with a stand mixer in no time. Besides being delicious, another good thing with this dough is we don't need to rest or chill it. We can start making the poachers straight away. The dough will be like this, soft and shapeable. Now I've lined the tray with baking paper and preheat the oven to 180 degrees C 350 Fahrenheit. For the fillings I'm going to use some mozzarella cheese, sliced black olives and feta cheese. Feel free to use any filling you like. Take a walnut sized piece of the dough, roll it into a ball and flatten it between your palms. I'm going to put a bit of feta cheese and olives in this one. It's easy to close it by pressing the filling with your thumb while connecting the dough together with your other fingers. Roll it in your hand to give it a round shape. and place it on the tray. I'm going to make this one with mozzarella cheese. Again, I'm pressing the filling in and connecting the dough together from the other sides. The other fact that I love about these poachas is that they don't get stale quickly, which makes it ideal for travel snacks as well. I remember that I brought some on our interstate road trip and they were a real savior when we couldn't find a place to eat. I'm going to whisk the egg yolk with a teaspoon of milk, this way it's easier to brush and makes it shinier. Now I'll brush the egg yolk on the top of the poachers. I want to add a bit of sesame seeds on the top. Also a bit of black sesame seeds for the color. We are going to bake this for about 25 minutes until the tops become golden brown. It just came out of the oven and I want to show you the texture.
it's very soft. And it melts in your mouth. I hope you'll get a chance to try these pouches and enjoy. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. See you in the next delightful treat. Cheers!